mirror tells you exactly who you are. The stories of 42 women. I said, no, I'm going to shoot only in black and white because that's what I like. Good morning, Ramsey. Good morning. Welcome to Dubai and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, being an international photographer now for over three, four years, serious, dedicated, fully committed on photography. I mean, you've achieved really a lot in a very, very short period of time. So uh, we're really proud to have you with us and I would love to know more. And those who are listening want to know about your experience and your journey in photography. Fantastic. Glad to be here and fire away whatever I can do to help. Great. So how did it all start? Ah, good question. Um, I was a semi-retired businessman um, living in Cape Town and uh, one day I was walking past the mall and I just saw some cameras and I picked it up on the basis that I was going to just keep myself busy and um, the next thing I know I was at my son's school when I saw this really really handsome young man who turned out to be the son of a friend of ours and I asked if I could take photos of him and they said yes and what I didn't know was that they took the photos that I took and they gave them to a model agency. The model agency hired him on the spot and the owner of the agency said, whoever took these photos, I want to meet them. So I was brought in the next day and they said, look, we love the way you photograph and we'd like you to photograph for us. And I said, okay. And one model after another, after what, well, now we're at 200, 250 women, and yeah, it's gone viral, I guess. Wonderful, well done. Thank you. You just launched your resilience book. Yes. And that was also a big success. Thank so you. So congratulations, it's extremely authentic and uh, touching, really, the stories of 42 women uh, battling cancer. Right. Um, it wasn't easy for you, you spoke about it uh, in, at the launch when we did the book signing. Correct. Um, and uh, it's phenomenal, really, like the feedback we've been getting has been really great. So thank you again for coming and for all your efforts and giving back to the community and to the society in your work has been extremely uh, obvious in anything that you do. Thank you very much and thank you for, for hosting um, myself and the book at uh, the Leica store and, and uh, through the Brand Avenue. It uh, has been a culmination of two and a half years of um, a very long and often uh, emotional road to, to get this book um, to where it is, but like you said, it's been um, an overwhelming success. Um, we've managed to get the, the point and the message across to the world, and um, I am very proud of what my wife and I have achieved on this book, so thank you as well. So Ramsey, for you, photography started as a passion. Um, many photographers out there, even from the younger generation that are studying photography or they are passionate about photography, they often wonder, can I take this seriously as a professional uh, career? Um, how would you like to comment on that? What would you like to tell them? That's an interesting uh, question. Look, I, I'm, I'm sitting on a fence on, 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 on a question like this because while I think we should all follow our, our heart, our passion, our desire. You know, um, today, technically speaking, anyone with a phone is a photographer. And with social media being out there, it's actually very, very difficult to be able to produce content that others are not producing. Everyone is almost copying everybody else. So, uh, you know, I would say, you know, we do need to follow our passion. We do need to follow what our hearts tell us. But at the same time, we've got to take calculated risks. We've got to understand that, look, we have bills to pay. We have, um, you know, mouths to feed. And if we can do that, then I would say go wholeheartedly in your passion of photography. But I wouldn't jump ship. I wouldn't leave a job. I wouldn't leave a, you know, a, a stable comfortable job where I'm getting paid to jump into photography on the basis that I'm going to be the next big thing. I think art and the creative arts is one aspect, but like I said, a calculated risk is, is a more appropriate approach for me. However, Ramsey, um, I think that today in a globalized world where social media is so popular, I mean, it's all digital, do you think photographers, young photographers, have higher opportunities 
uh, they can be uh, recognized easier? Well, I mean, look, we, we have, you know, if you look at social media, the ability to reach a, a, an audience is vastly greater than it was in the 70s and the 80s and 90s. Um, so, yes, I think there is that ability, but at the same time, you know, everyone is a photographer. And if we look at the human brain and how we um, take things on on social media, we have a limited attention span. So unless you're producing something that is so eye-catching, so talking, so emotionally attached to the viewer, you know, they, they're just going to go on to the next picture and the next picture and the next picture. So for me, it's, it's that, yes, you have the ability, you do have social media, you have the ability to reach a much wider audience, but you still need to understand what is the content curated by you in order to get that audience. So definitely, as we said, with social media, with the digital age, everyone is a photographer in a way. So uh, photography has always been and will continue to be a powerful communication tool. Some might use it to say something uh, relevant to the society or to give back to the society or to impact the society. And some might use photography as just an artistic form of expression. What would you like to say about that? And do you think that the essence of photography is losing impact? Well, I think really there's, we have to separate it into photography and content creation, mm -hmm. if we're talking about social media. Photography for me is going out, taking a photo, or you know, having a composition of that photo, having a thought of what that photo is going to be, look like, feel like, taste like, smell like, and then printing it out, holding it in your hand, and, and looking at your work, versus a content creation of taking a you know, smartphone and, and taking a photo and putting it, uploading it on an Instagram or TikTok or something. So for me, we have to you know, differentiate a photographer from a content creator. Um, do I think it's being compromised? In, in many aspects it is. Um, the photography is not dead. I know for a fact that analog photography has made a massive comeback where people are using film, uh, analog film, and they're printing their photos. So it is coming back. It, there is always going to be photographers that are keen and are passionate about their art. Um, content creators are you know, it's a new generation and, and, you know, I don't know what's going to happen in the next 10 years with that, but it's constantly evolving and we're just going to have to understand that there are two separate things, content creators and actual photographers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I was going to ask you this question as well. So you prefer to print still? Of course, mm -hmm. definitely. For me, without, if you don't print a photo, you'll never truly understand what a photo represents. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I saw that even with our book. You know, my, the Resilience book is online, free for anyone to download it in a digital format, in a PDF format, in an e-version format. However, what I noticed is when people actually got the physical book and they held it, they went through the pages, the smell of paper, it's just a different experience. It's not worse or better, it's just different. And for me, I just love that, that, that feel, that, that real feel of holding a book, or holding a picture and really understanding what the photographer was thinking and feeling at the time he took that photo. Exactly, it's really capturing the moment and once you frame it there, this moment is there in front of you. I think with social media and digital, if you just post the photographs, you know, it's too fast. Yes. It goes too fast and, and the moment uh, is not there in time really. There you go. Yeah, so this is a really interesting from photographer's uh, point of view, from photographer like you, to appreciate the importance of printing those moments, capturing them also, not only with the eyes, but also also with the heart. Thank you, thank you. Traveling around the world for you is a passion as well. So you travel a lot, you meet different people, so you get to know uh, different cultures also. Um, what is the place that you still remember very well or that holds a special place uh, in your memory, in your heart, that you would love to go back again and photograph? Wow, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, the truth is, everywhere I go, 
I'm going to learn something about you know, the people, the culture, the heritage, the history. And so there, I don't have any particular thing because I try to accept wherever I am and the moment that I'm in and just you know, embrace and, and almost breathe it all in. Um, if there was any location that I would say I love photographing in, I would definitely say it's Cape Town. You know, hands down, Cape Town has um, some of the best light and location I've ever seen in the world. So if, if that's where it is, other than that, you know, I just love being everywhere. I just love meeting people. Wonderful. I want to ask you, uh, before the last question, what would you like to say to aspiring photographers that, uh, from your own experience today, um, what would you like to tell them? If I, look, if I could sum it up, I would say, you know, that phrase, stick to your guns. Because I know when I first started, they wanted me to shoot in color. And I said, no, I'm going to shoot only in black and white because that's what I like. And I got a lot of, you know, flack for it. I was um, under a lot of pressure to change it. But I just, I stuck to my guns because I wanted to shoot in black and white. I was told I need to have more, you know, styling. I refused that because I thought, it destroyed my art. I wanted to create, to create pictures that spoke about the woman, not about what she was wearing. I got a lot of tension on that. I stuck to my guns. And today, people understand whenever they see a Ramsey photo, they, they're just like, okay, that's, that's his photo, that's his signature. It became my signature. You know, I don't Photoshop, everybody is Photoshopping. I don't do a lot of styling, everyone does a lot of styling. So. You just have to believe in yourself and what it is that you want to portray in a photo. If you do that and you stick to your guns, it doesn't matter whether it's one day, one week, one year, 10 years, eventually the success of who you are comes because you become that authentic version of you. You stuck to your guns, you were who you said you are. We love to host people like you who are authentic, who are genuine Me and too. who are true. Uh, people that inspire. Um, last but not least, what is exactly authenticity for you? You know, I've been asking myself that question for <laughs> several years, but um, I think, you know, my wife said it best to me once and she said, when you look in the mirror and you can't lie to yourself, you know, when the mirror tells you exactly who you are, who do you want to be? For me, Authenticity is being true to who you are and what you stand for, irrespective of all the noise around you, because you're always going to find noise. It's part of the world we live in. Um, specifically with social media, you're either loved, you're hated, you're, you know, you're never going to please anybody. So the truth of the matter is, if you can look in the mirror and really be satisfied and content with who you are, that is as authentic as you can be. Thank you so much, Ramsey. Thank you. It Thank was you really much. wonderful chatting with you. Um, thank you for being who you are. Keep inspiring the world with your work. Thank you for having me. It's been an incredible honor to meet you and to meet uh, the whole Brand Avenue. Thank you. Uh, I highly appreciate your time. And please stay with us. Stay tuned for another episode.